it's Laurel of Lolo Van Crafts. Today I am coming to you with a very fun um, haul from Scrapbook Nerd. Uh, in here I have a couple of highly anticipated collections for myself and um, and then some items they had a, uh, a really decent sale on for International Scrapbook Day and so I had some things waiting in my hold it so they do a um, like you can shop and they'll hold your items until you hit their uh, threshold for free shipping or discounted shipping. And uh, I still have my box there because I had been waiting for some round trip items to come in. And so I ended up picking up a few items from the sale as well. So we're going to go through it all here. I don't, I hate saying this, but I don't remember absolutely everything I got. Um, but that'll make it fun. So I, as you saw, just opened it up. I haven't been through it yet. So um, I'm going to just pop it open and move the box and let's take a peek. Now they did contact me to tell me that um, it was heavy, <laughs> it was oversized. And so uh, I can feel that pulling it out here. It is a, a decent a decent chunk of product. Anyway, so Scrapbook Nerd is where I got this from. They are a, a small business based out of Ontario in Canada here. Um, I have found that they have a pretty decent selection of especially the American craft items and uh, yeah, I mean all the ones I get. American crafts and, and paintbrush and simple stories and all of those. So yeah. Okay, where to start? Uh, hmm. Should we go collection by collection? So I've gotten a few. So one of the ones I got was the Pink Fresh Happy Heart Collection. Now, I did end up using some of this on the, uh, uh, in the Crop and Create Delivered um, event that I just did. However, I had ordered it already and it had been sitting in my, my um, bag there or my box there. So, okay, there's a, I'm just trying to figure where to start. There's, there's quite a bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to split it kind of into collections here. So I was lucky enough to catch a number of items on like really good sale. So that's what these are. So I've got here the uh, Farmhouse Christmas by Cartabella. I love this collection. I have some of the paper. I really didn't get much of the ephemera. I just got the paper. Uh, they had these on. I can't remember how much they were, but I think they were like a couple of bucks. So I got the two packs of chipboards and then I got the ephemera die cuts. Uh, as well and I thought that those would be really great to add to the cardstock I have for Christmas cards but then also traveler's notebooks and things like that so that's that I did pick up this is an item from the Vicky Booten Christmas line last year and I loved it and I was being good so I didn't buy it but it was on sale and so I picked it up at a really good price again I can't remember how much it was I should see here if I have because the uh, the sale was really, really good. No, there's no, um, I don't have prices on here, so I can't tell you. But yeah, the when they have sales, they have really, really good sales. So as you can see, I have some round trip goodies here. I'm just gonna sh put those off to the side. Some more holiday stuff, some more, oh my goodness. Laurel, you really, okay, all right. Paper and this and that and this and that. Oh my gosh, I got two of these. Whoops. <laughs> Apparently, I guess the downside of doing the uh, the hold it is that uh, maybe you'll already have something in your um, thing. In any event, I like I do like this one quite a bit. So there you go. So this actually I picked up on the sale. So these were they were thirty percent off or fifty percent off something. I think they were like four dollars or something like that which is honestly unheard of and then I got the um the ephemera which again I think was like four dollars maybe three something even and then I got the six by eight paper pad of the market square so I'll just open this one up quickly because I know most of you have probably seen this, but I actually haven't. I So this collection, I didn't love. Um, I found it was very similar to a lot of other ones that she had. And yeah, it just didn't tug at my heartstrings. However, as 
per usual, once I saw the collections, uh, once I saw the collection start to be used, I really fell in love with the papers. Um, I thought that this collection actually had some really beautiful papers. So then I was feeling a little like, ho oh, hum, that I hadn't, that I hadn't gotten into them. Um, so when I saw this on sale, really good sale, I figured I would dive in. I feel like it was 50% off. I wouldn't have got it for a minimal sale. But yeah, so the colors are a bit darker. They're a bit muted. I think though this was a fall line. I want to say this was maybe a fall line. So the colors are darker, but yeah, I just like this is so pretty with the gold foil. And that's why I went for the six by eight. A, because it isn't my favorite, but also the gold foil, I think on some of the pages just really, yeah really adds. I am flipping through quickly just because, ooh, that's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, just because most of you have probably already seen this line, but I just want to see the papers. I really love what people have done with this, all kinds of embroidery or stitching, piecing, paper piecing. Another pretty one with the gold foil. I love this, the black and uh, the cream background with the black hearts. This one, I love this floral. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a pink background. Fun pattern. That's cute. That's fun. It's nice in the six by eight because I actually would capture this uh, pattern when you're cutting down from a 12 by 12 into smaller. Usually you miss that. I love this one. The strawberries. Oh, and there's gold foil on that one too. That's cute. So the little blooms have some, can you see that? Yeah, gold foiling on them. And then, oh, that's pretty, I like that. Plaid with like a brown, that's cute. Yeah, so it's not like my favorite, favorite line ever in the world, but on the sale, I really wanted to pick that up. And then there are a number of pieces in here that I quite like. I love these houses. I love all the florals, these little bits. I'm not so wild on like, the horse and the pig. The duck is cute. Like, I'm not so big on the animals. The carrots, I'm sure I'll find a way to use, but, um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit bummed at myself for getting two of them, but whatever. Only because, uh, I really wanted two of this one and I only managed to scoop one before they sold out. So that's that. Um, next, why don't we take a peek at the happy heart and get it out of the way. I think this was, yeah. So what I got was the, um, the paper pack, which is absolutely stunning. Actually, I will open it because I think I haven't seen as many people playing with this one. Oh, and it's like double seal. Sorry. Let's see. Well, I'll just pull out the cover sheet, but they're, they're, their papers are so gorgeous and the weight is really nice like this is this is thinner than the actual paper but um but yeah so it's got this beautiful green and these like watercolory florals these fun yellows this page i've been looking forward to fussy cutting all these little windows this one is really pretty it's just a white with this really pretty pattern going through it and this one like it's just yeah i love it love it love it these cut aparts are awesome so yeah we used a bunch of these in the um, sorry, I won't do that. Too noisy. Uh, we used a bunch of these in the Crop and Create delivered in Jess Forster's class and yeah, really fell in love with it. I did pick up the cardstock stickers, which we, um, we also got this in the Crop and Create delivered package, but I had ordered this before we got, before I got that box. So um, I have duplicates of this. I'm not sad about it. Their cardstock stickers are like my favorite, actually. Pink Fresh cardstock stickers, get on them. They're, they're awesome. Uh, the title ephemera, this is awesome. I thought this would just be amazing to use on so many projects, layouts, all of the above cards, uh, just lots of great phrases. And we got this as well in the um, Crop and Create. So that's another fun one to use. And then this one is the watercolor florals and i believe we got this one in the crop and create delivered as well they're just beautiful yes we did we definitely did we yes we definitely got this because i remember i used that piece there and then these are new to me so i haven't actually seen these up close so this is the puffy stickers for this collection so it's just fun really bright i love the books camera here the cloche cloche 
<laughs> um, always take the scenic route. You are lovely, happy heart. So just really pleasant, fun, cute backpack again, different coloring. And then these ephemera, um, because I have a lot in here, I'm not going to open it up, but it's got like the fun tags. And actually some of these I did end up getting in my SCT sampler this past month because this is one of the collections that they pulled from. But there's lots of fun ones in here that are going to be great to use uh, on various projects. I'm really excited about that. That'll be a fun one to dig into. And then, let's see. So another, so then I, again, really like Pink Fresh Studios cardstock stickers. So this collection, Life Right Now, was a cute collection, but it just, honestly, I have so much stuff. I don't, I just didn't need it. But again, I love the cardstock stickers. So I love the vibe of these. I thought these would be really fun in my traveler's notebook for doing just journaling layouts. But I love also there's some fun little tickets, little flags, stamp kind of set, stamp, ugh, stamps, lots of tags in here. Um, just everyday kind of things like more of this feels like home today. Need a hug, care package, happy heart eating my feelings right now. So good. No. Yeah. So just, just fun. Ice cream solves everything. That would be a fun one. Actually, we're going away uh, tomorrow and um, I can already think we're probably going to have some photos that'll go well with that. Wake me when this part is over. Oh yeah. I've had a, I was very, very ill um, uh, recently and I, yeah, there were three days where I would have, that would have been me for sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. So then on sale, I managed to pick up these. So um, I do have, the, okay, we'll start with this one. So this one is the Oh What Fun Collection by Pink Fresh. Again, love their products. So I have this, this is uh, not last year's, the year before. And I have a number of products. I didn't buy these two items, even though I love them because I didn't want to spend the extra money. Uh, however, they were on the sale. They're 50% off, I think. And um, so I definitely, I had to pick them up. So these are their journaling cards. Absolutely love these. I think these will be awesome to slip into notebooks, to use as memory decks cards or add to memory decks cards. Just really awesome for journaling. Yeah, I love this collection. It's so much fun. And then I got the journaling bits. And I'll open this one because it's not too much. And I've actually never picked up a, uh, uh, a journaling bits package because again I usually ration myself but uh but like look at this it's so cute it's got all the little so there's little tags and little like sleeves for them to go in this one here says rejoice these days are the sweetest here's another so it's like a little flip I'm ready for some merrymaking does this fit in here no not quite so then here's a little pocket and then this goes, you can pop that in there. Oh, what fun. Hey, okay, yeah, so they've got, they're colored patterned on the back, so that's nice. If you're popping them, like, say, on a vellum or something like that, you'll see them. And then another tag. I guess that would slip in there. It's the happiest season of all. Oh, that's fun. Little, little, um, like a policy envelope. This is gathered together. And then this one says deck to halls. Same idea. Yeah, so I'm really I'm excited to play with that. Again, like I said, never got one. Love them all the time, but um, collections I find just get bigger and bigger and bigger. There's more and more items added to them, and you got to stop at some point. So usually these are the items that get. It's like with the Maggie Holmes. Like, I usually don't get the stationery packs. Um, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever picked up a stationery pack. In any event, uh, this one is Holiday Magic Pink Fresh. I um, love this collection. I didn't buy it because I have quite a bit of Christmas stuff and I have some Pink Fresh ones, but again, the cardstock stickers I love. I thought these would work really well with lots of other collections, so I managed to pick this up. Again, these were on the sale. Um, so tis the season for cheer, keep cozy from our house to yours. These will also be awesome, like in Traveler's Notebooks. Look at all these little tiny pieces like to just um, add on above a photo or at the top of a page. I think they're going to be wonderful. There's a cocoa, a little gingerbread house, holiday baking, joy to the world. It really is a wonderful life. Ready to deck the halls. There's no present like the moment. These little tickets. I love that. Christmas spirit, holiday movies. Yeah, and then all of these words. Like, look at that. Oh, 
yeah so i was very excited for that and this is holiday magic so this is like the title ephemera is something that is somewhat new to them um so they did it of course in the happy hearts collection that i just showed you they did it in this holiday magic one so i picked this up because look at that merry and bright counting down like these are just perfect for documenting christmas so i'm looking forward to using these in a december daily then i think the last item i got in the sale is this so um is this amy tangerine brave and bold i'll open it up so you can see but basically they're just traveler's notebooks Oop, one's brown and i didn't realize that but that's okay Ooh, they are in here good let me see if i can get them out um but it was i think it was two dollars for the two 250 maybe so they're just plain traveler's notebooks this one's craft that's really fun actually that would be fun for christmas if i recovered it in any event um yeah so at like a dollar a piece there's tons of pages they're well they're well made so i thought i'd pick that up never never have uh too many notebooks then uh i did pick up these pixie dots i've been wanting some removable adhesive and for just when i'm like packing if uh ephemera and stuff to give to people i don't like when they get all destroyed when they try and pop them off but what i've been using hasn't really been holding so i'm gonna try that and see i have no idea if it's what i'm looking for but we'll see something to try and then yay this baby finally got my hands on round trip and i also got my peachy cheap order so i'm gonna put them all together here so you can have a quick peek. Uh, so again, I got this from Scrapbook Nerd. They are not doing pre-orders uh, on these American Crafts collections anymore because it's just been too difficult for them to get the products. Like it's just, as you all know, it's just been crazy lately. And so when they come in, they come in and when they're gone, they're gone. So I, they were absolutely amazing um, and uh, worked with me to figure out what they had coming in and what they didn't so that I was able to buy it elsewhere before it um, disappeared. So like I said, I did take advantage of the Peachy Cheap deal that was on a couple of weeks ago. So I received that just before I got this box. And then I filled in with um, some items that I really loved and a couple other things. So yeah, let's have a peek. So I, I'm going to start here. So I did end up getting... I got two packs of the Ticket Ephemera, and I am going to open it, but I, because that I'm really excited about, um, but I'll just show you quickly what I got here. So then I got two packs of the Ephemera. This one I did by accident, but I'm totally okay with it because there's lots in here that I'm going to wish I had two of. I got the sticker book. We can quickly have a peek at this one. So um, as per usual, so there's 446 stickers in this one. Um, so a bunch of them are clear. I love this page. Like, look at all these little tiny tickets. Again, this will be awesome in a traveler's notebook, in a mini book, mini journal, mini album. Here's some more clear stickers. Love the pink plane, little umbrella. There's lots of things here that would work for the everyday. I know it's kind of a travel collection, but there's lots here that would work for the everyday. These are fun little gold alphas. And then look at all the little, oh, these will be perfect for like, uh, embellishing like mini envelopes or um like little rosettes and things like that i absolutely love those i love the blue i love the pink and the gold is oh, beautiful i love the florals in this collection i absolutely love the florals i've seen some um unboxings where people really are not into them um which amazes me because they're stunning to me but everybody everybody likes something different right uh this one is awesome with all the pennants and flags and tags that'll get good use and then here's another clear one. So some little uh, location markers. I forget what they're called. Geotags, maybe. Um, the suitcases. I love how they're different sizes. You could totally stack them up or use them individual. And cameras and butterflies, flowers, all that good stuff. And then another travelly one. I love that. And this is fun as a sticker, too. And actually looking at this in person, I probably could have done with two of these, but that's okay. I don't need it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very excited about that. And then I did manage to pick up the puffy stickers. Now this I got from Scrapbook Nerd. This was not included in the Peachy Cheap deal. Um, but I just love like the little taxi and the flowers. Again, there's lots of things here that you could use for the everyday. Um, but also lots that you could use for travel. So 
super excited. I love the bus. American money. Little camera. Yeah, so I love that. I got the 6x12 sticker sheet. So this I got from Scrapbook Nerd as well. Uh, but it's, again, a lot of kind of repetition as we know. That's how it goes, but different sizing. So I love the stack of suitcases, the pretzel, the taxi, the bouquet, the mailbox. Yeah, the camera, bike, adventure, smile. Again, those florals I love. The swan, of course. Maggie Holmes. Can't, can't do Maggie Holmes without the swan. Love the pink plane. Polaroid. It looks like a hydrangea, maybe. The book. Wherever we go, let's go together. Yeah, so it's really cute. And then some fun stickers. Sun and fun. Travel via airmail. And then just the ones you can use to, to layer up. Very cool. Love those. Uh, so, oh, okay. So these, these came in the, um, sorry, they're the Thickers Wander. These came in the Peachy Cheap deal. They did not have these at Scrapbook Nerd when I was placing my order. These are maybe my favorite thing of the whole collection. I absolutely love these. Like, let's go Wander, the butterfly, the white with the gold is very interesting. It's different again. So this is gold and then it's white. Um, vest day, lovely together. But look at this. Look at this. It's like this glossy, puffy, like Polaroid frame style. Oh, I, I'm just, I love it. This is fun. I love the little arrow there. And then there's another like photo one, ticket. One of these little slides. Just gorgeous. Again, more flowers. Beautiful favorite. Yeah. So I'm very, oh, I love, love, love that. Uh, what should we do? Okay, here. So this is the chipboard. And this is the one that I wanted two of, but didn't manage to snag it in time. I get indecisive and then things sell out and then I kick myself, but meh, that's okay. Uh, and then it's got all these tickets and tags. Again, the pretzel, the florals, the swan, some more of these little kind of photo frames, Polaroid style frames, stacked suitcases, a taxi. That's pretty in the floral. Again, like a Polaroid frame little heart and I love that you get the heart inside of it too so you can use both yeah so I'm excited to use that little star little hearts so that'll be that'll be awesome and then let's sort of look at the paper so I'll, I will go through both because they're slightly different but also I'm a bit curious I'm just gonna cut this open um I'm a bit curious as to how the coloring differs I've noticed in previous collections that a lot of the time the coloring between the two pads differs which generally is fine um unless you're doing projects where you'd hope to use the smaller in it I know the scale is different but um sometimes I find the color match is just so off that it's kind of weird so let's take a peek so of course the six by eight 12 oops, sorry the six by eight is um gold foil uh whereas the 12 by 12 is not so of course they're going to be um they're going to be a bit different anyway so you've got this page of tickets here with the gold foil on them i love that i'm gonna get lots of use out of that i love this cut apart sheet you've got the tickets you've got the taxi some tags lots of tags stamps Lots of little labels and journaling spots, so that's awesome. I love this page, this black and white. This reminds me of um, Marigold, maybe? There's a page that, it just it doesn't look like this, but it's got a similar essence to it. And there's the florals in pink. So let's see if I can find something that matches. Because they can't be completely different. I mean, first four pages? Come on. This page does not exist in here, okay? Well, we'll keep going until we find one. Okay, I know that this page is in here. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so the color here is much richer, and this one is more washed out. Which is not the end of the world, but it just depends what you're planning to use it for. Um, and then, I don't know. Yeah, so it's kind of funny. So these are 
36 sheets. And it looks like it's 18 that repeat. Um, and then this one is 48 sheets. And I don't... I feel like this one... I don't know. Anyway, why don't we just go through it? <laughs> so we've got our like cut aparts. Love that. It'll be fun for making embellishments. Little journal spots. This ledger. I'm a sucker for a ledger. Love it. Love it. This is pretty. This um, floral. And I just want to see what the difference is in this one. Yeah, so this is much like grayer. And this is much richer. And it was the reverse on the wood grain. So that's bizarre. Anyway, the coloring is different. This is pretty. This comes as a um, pink and gold foil in the small one. Oh, this page is beautiful. I love this. It's just this um, really thin line, like sketches of all these la national, national global landmarks. And there's the hearts. I love that. There's those florals I love. This is just beautiful. I want to do like a journal album or, some, or a journal cover in that. This purple is really nice. I'm not usually a purple person, but this lighter lilac -y color I love. These are fun. Uh, I could see this working really well as the inside cover of an album or cutting it out and using the words on their own. This is pretty. The Pink Plains, again, on the inside of an album or like as a cover would be awesome. I love that this um, branding strip is like Transit Authority. This is a, a fun kind of offset um, stripe. Again, Transit Authority. So like a ledger, I love the blue and green. Oh, I love this, I love this color of blue. With the hearts. These will be fun to cut apart, or again, in an album as an inside cover. I'm not a huge fan of stuff like this, so I'll use it, but not really my thing. This is pretty. I love basics like this, having a few of those in there. So this is the um, big version of this guy here. So you see the colors are slightly different. Well, significantly different when you look at the two of those. Um, right. But uh, this one's gold foil and this one is not. So this is awesome. Lots of airline tickets, uh, admit ones, tags, fragile stick. That'd be awesome for like a belly band on something. Um, Baggage tags. I guess these would be like bus tickets, maybe. This is pretty, just a pink grid. Florals. This is a bit um, hard to look at, but in small doses, I think this would be really pretty. Or as rosettes, I think that would be really pretty. The buses are really nice. This one's better because it's not as many stars. I also love the peachy color. Strawberries are always fun. I love this geometric pattern in this minty green. This is fun, just as like a sketch. It's busy, but because it's uh, the colors are so basic, it doesn't feel too crazy. As a background, it would be cute. I love this blue. I love this blue. It's gorgeous. The pattern is um, not something I would normally have picked, but I like how it works here. The stripe. This is kind of fun. I don't. I haven't noticed this one before in any of the halls. Of course, it was there, but um, I guess geometric patterned diamond cool another pink one with some landmarks well this is fun just uh like some text blue uh, florals Ooh, another cut apart i like this these are very kind of vintagey um yeah but i really love the vibe of this i'll definitely be cutting some of those apart so these do not repeat because uh, I've not seen the same thing twice here. So there's the bikes. And there's that um, very kind of 70s rainbow-esque swans, of course. Another floral. This floral I like. That one's really pretty. I like the polka dots. This is almost like uh, wintry, Christmassy, it feels like. And then... I find these really busy, but to cut them apart, they work well. I like this. I love the offset pink and red and then the berries and this is pretty it's blue it's got like a bit of a texture behind it too so it's and the lines are like they're hand painted so they're kind of wavy they're not perfect and that's the 12 by 12 so you know i've never really paid that much attention to whether the 12 by 12 
and the 6x8 are um, like how different they are. But uh, yeah, so it's 48 of like 48 different ones. And then here we'll only get 18. So we'll just go through this quickly because we will have seen them all, but these are on a smaller scale. Yeah, so again, like these, I'll cut some of these out, but it won't be my favorite page. Love that in the gold foil. It's so pretty. I like this better in the smaller, actually. And the stripes I like better in the smaller. This is that with the gold foil. Blue. Ooh, these are gold foiled in here. Oh, I love that. Definitely be cutting all those out. And there's that wood grain, herringbone wood grain. There's that floral I love in a smaller scale. Oh, and the cut aparts are gold foiled. Oh, I love it. And then here's that pattern again with the aeroplanes. Oh, okay. The stars, you know what? Oops, I just popped out. They're better in, I like that better in the, um, the gold foil. There's another floral. There's the, that patterned one. And then it repeats. So that's one of the nice things about the 6x8 is if you really like a page, you get two of them. So that's that. Um, so I did get two of the ephemera. I'm not going to open this one. I know lots of people have um, have started to show it. And this video is getting long. And I really, really am into these. I'm super excited I managed to get two. I got one from Scrapbook Nerd and I got one in my Peachy Cheap deal. So I will have a peek at these because I'm really excited to see them. And I figure I might as well do it on camera with you guys. Pardon my lovely blanket. What I am recovering from is mastitis and I am um, struggling a bit. So I am trying to keep one side of me warm. So hence the blanket. Um, so we've got, oh, I love this by Aramail. Look at that. Cute. Little railway ticket. Tickets and tags. Little geo tags. And the stamps here. You can cut them apart. I love that. Little ticket. Oh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I want to make so many travel albums right now. Um, yeah. And I love, like, they've got the little perforated bits. So if you want to, like, use them in an, in an album and kind of, like, perforate them like you've used them, it'd be kind of cool. Or in a spread. Taxi. There's one that didn't get separated in the shop. PDX, I think that's Portland. Baggage tag. Yeah, a little bus ticket. Cabin baggage. And I'm just gonna swoop those off to the side and open this one. Yeah, it's 50 pieces, so this is quite a large one. Usually they're 40. I think I heard before the standard for American Crafts is 40 pieces, so this is a large one, and it's all tickets and tags. So if you, like me, love a good ticket or tag, and look at this. You get three there. Three there. Um, yeah, if you get a, if you love a good ticket or tag, got to get on this one. That's why I got two of them, because I figure once the collection is gone, vamos, disappeared, not returning, I'm going to wish that I had more of some of these tickets. So... I figure a lot of them, like there's so many different colors in here. You've got this one, which is kind of like a faded brown. You've got this one, which is nice blue. you got the yellow. you got the lavender, the pinks, the reds, this minty green. You've got the darker blue, the green, the peaches. So that's the thing. Like you just, you'll be able to use it with so many different collections for so many different projects. I love that. Look at the color. Yeah. So <sighs> that's it. I'm so, oh, and my candies. They gave me a couple of candies. Um, so that's it. That's it for this haul. That is uh, hopefully it for a while for me. I'm going to focus on using what I have. But this um, Maggie Holmes round trip was, I'm just going to move this off the side. This Maggie Holmes round trip was definitely the collection that I have been waiting for. I missed a lot of the old ones. I missed confetti. I missed carousel. Uh, I missed all heart. I missed all of those. And so... To be able to um, fall in love with a collection and actually be around to order it is uh, really exciting for me. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Uh, I'm going to go and peek closer and fall in love again. But thanks so much for stopping by. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's so long. It was a decent sized box. 
But uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. Bye.